Hey, Bonu, and they Bonu, I want to talk about what the evil people believed in before Christianity. What was our belief system? How did we relate with the divine? What did we even understand is the divine? So, what did Indi Igbo generally, what did we see? As the divine, how do we perceive God in in our ancestral indigenous societies? Now, first of all, we need to understand that every culture revered some sort of divinity, and that their reverence to that divinity was fundamental to their own existence. Now, what they now did was to tie up those their cultural practices. They tied it with their spiritual belief system as a way for them to relate understand and interpret the divine now to Ndibu, this particular culture or practice is called omenanidi nordinani omenanidi nordinani now what it means or loosely transcribes to cultural practices that serve as mediums or ways to for cosmic or spiritual inter interaction now for instance Ndibu, not Ndibu, basically Anambra people, we have a way, the way, the process, the cultural practice, the cultural process, how we perform the rites of Eloahu, how we perform the rites of Isichite, and all those rituals and rites. Now, communities from Ansoka, Imo, Abia, and other communities could have a separate way how they relate with and how they also perform these rituals and sacrifices. This is what I meant by omenani de nordinani. Now we need to understand that the Igbo interpretation of the divine starts with the concept of the chi, whom we perceive and interpret as the aspect of the creator that creates. Now this chi can be found within everything we see in our natural environment, starting from stones, animals, trees. We believe that each of these things have their own driving force. Hence, the same way human beings have our own driving force, these animals, these trees, these animals, these uh, stones, they also have their own driving force. Now, this is why um, the Dibia uses these particular items in his different mythical um, activities. For instance, I will talk about Ogu, Ogu and Agwagu. Ogu is basically the combination of these things, the combination of roots, herbs, and basically different items which the Dibia basically combines them and gives them a command and uses those things to basically, you know, it gives it a command and it do something that if we, when you see it, Anya, Anya, Sagodi, Gimiri. Now, it is the combination of these items and the reasons why or what makes it possible is this aspect of the Chi that resides within these items. Now, this concept of the Chi also exists within deities. You believe that Alose Nenwechi. Therefore, when we interact with a deity, we know that we are not just interacting with a deity, we are also interacting with all of creation that resides within that deity, Alose. Because of our belief that everything living and unliving and non-living has an aspect of the creator within them, which is the chi concept, it means that the chi has a, a creator. The chi has an, a creator, which through the actions of its avatar, its living avatar, you and me, it strives, this chi essence tries or strives to reconnect to this creator or to this cosmic force. Therefore, we believe in the existence of the Creator, whom we refer to as Chi Uten, the aggregate of all Chi's, the aggregate of your Chi, the aggregate of my Chi, the aggregate of a table, the aggregate of the Chi of a table, of a, of a stone. The collective Chi consciousness is what Ndibo refers to as Chi Uten. Now, they now refer to this Chi Uten force as the Creator, as Osebloa. Now, this is the Igbo perception. This is what Ndi Igbo believed in before the socialization of a one through God that we find in Christianity. Now, unlike the Christian belief that, you know, this one through God he has um, an only begotten son and is basically invested in our human activities, Ndi Igbo believe that our interaction with this Chiyuku force is minimal. We believe in the existence of this creator and we also be believe that his or our activities or his interaction with us is without concern, which means that this driving force 
does not is not concerned with the human activities because we already have ancestral and familiar spirits and those ancestral and familiar spirits are there to take care of our every day-to-day -day needs therefore if we want anything anything cosmically we can communicate this through our chi and exumizu and from there it would now manifest but we have to move through this channel we don't have to move through the channel of this one through God. We just go to God and ask for something. The Igbo people did not believe in it. We believe that we get things to want from the universe, from the cosmos, through our chi and Izumis, through our ancestral and through our familiar spirits. We also believe in the uh, relativity or connectivity of everything that basically exists outside and within the universe. That is why we believe in the existence of a predestination, we believe in soul groups, and we also believe in reincarnation. Most fundamental to the Igbo belief system is the our belief or what we look at as good and evil. We don't believe in the concept of good versus evil, which is that good always has to triumph over evil. We believe in the existence of good and evil. We believe that good exists, evil exists, they exist independently. And what basically makes a phenomenon what it is is because of human interactions and you know and interjections. So basically, when we talk about good and evil, we don't believe or we don't we just see them as they are a cosmic whole. They exist because this world exists. It is not something we pray against, it is not something we fight against. Now, what we actually fight against, or let me say pray against, are things we refer to as adjunct more. I John more now in I look at them as negative energies and negative and positive energies and they even exist for a certain function they exist because they are supposed to do something for instance if you offend or ima if you do what indi will consider as an abomination it is these negative forces or John more are the things that are going to basically you know frustrate your life make you to understand there is a consequences for every actions that you basically take now this is the function this is what these energies negative energies or adjum or what they basically exist to do but we don't believe in the concept of good versus evil now our ancestors also believed that this concept good and evil are neutral energies are neutral energies that exist as good and as bad now this is its neutrality depends on the human interjection now, this is because I also believe that we humans are the social engineers. That determines uh, if a phenomenon is either good or if a phenomenon is bad. And what determines it is our actions. How we live our life, how we treat one another, how we try to make our world a livable place. Now, I believe that if all of us collectively say we are not going to unalive ourselves, we are not going to do something that another person would you know, remember, and cries and all those things and the world is going to be a better place because evil no longer exists evil only exists because we human beings choose through our actions to perpetuate evil now the Igbo belief on good versus uh, good and evil basically um, eliminates the notion that good is influenced by the creator Abrondoka, I say that God gives you everything that is good. Now, our idea, the Igbo ancestral idea of good and evil, eliminates that notion that good is influenced by the Creator and His angels, and evil is basically influenced by the devil, whom we erroneously uh, refer to as Ekwensu, because most of us don't really understand that Ekwensu. Is a deity of war, bargain, and negotiations, justice, as I would, different kind of beautiful attributes that we have. We give this concept of Ekwensu, but not the devil. Now, the church told, tells us that the church, that Ekwensu is the devil, the antithesis of everything that is good. But in Igbo spirituality and Igbo cosmology, we believe that Ekwensu is trying, is a deity or an energy, an essence that basically inspires that creates positivity, holds people accountable. So this is the Igbo perceptions. We believe in the creator, the children. We don't believe in the concept of good versus evil. Rather, we believe in the concept of good and evil because they are neutral energies that have been social, socially engineered by us, the living, us um, human beings. We social engineer all these energies or entities to whether it is going to be used for something that is good or to use something that is bad. We also believe in the concept of predestination, fate. 
faith, reincarnation as a way for us to basically pay up karmic debt, have experiences that is going to allow and enable our chi, the essence of our chi, to basically reconnect with this um, cosmic whole. Now, this is the evil interpretation of the divine. This is how we understood what God is, what the divine is. Now, when I, I said that evil people believe in a creator, I did not say that Igbo people believe in the creator because we don't have any particular entity or force that we refer to and say this is the creator. No, we believe in the existence of a creator. Now, this a creator could be basically every and anything that we see in our natural and unnatural environments. Nature, mother nature, everything within nature. This is why our ancestors looked at the stone and said, e chin on me, yeah. They looked at the tree and said, This one can even be able to use these items to perform one or two rituals and sacrifices. And we channel their essence into a certain manifestations. And this is what Nibu generally looks at. And they look into nature, they look into the environment, and they say, There is God, that this is God. Now, every culture has their own interpretation. This is the Igbo interpretation. Now, um, I came across a video that said that, um, he, he said that, I like vegetables, but I'm not a vegetarian. He said, I like vegetables, you like vegetables. Now, the problem is, he is not a vegetarian, and you could be a vegetarian. Now, what's your, he, your problem, or what he feels that is wrong, is when you, that is a vegetarian, tells him that the only way to maintain a healthy body is to be a vegetarian. Now, what this means is that our people will say, Ozo ese jone kakanko. Ozo ese jone chakanko. So what it means here is that there is no one way to interact with the divine. Each culture has or had a, a, a way that they saw things, perceived things related with their divines. And none is wrong and none is right. Because no religion is ultimately true. Everything that, we're, that we do, we're just making assumptions because we want to create order in our society. Now our colonial masters came and gave us the notion that what our ancestors practice is evil, is demonic and is devilish making us to uh, replace our own system with their own system. So at the end of the day, these are the perceptions that this channel is trying to correct. And if you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and join me in all my social media and basically follow up uh, with these conversations and more to come in the future. And until next time, yeah, guys, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want my book, Chi Nezumezu, also, you know, um, Leave a comment. When I see it, I'm going to reach out to you. Yeah, guys, until next time.